Oh God, are you serious? Okay, so what are you doing today? Uh, my neck has been bothering me a little okay. bit and the shoulders are a little tight, so okay. I'm hoping to have a look up, up top. Perfect, yeah. awesome. So we'll start up here and then I'll get you on your stomach. We'll work on the back a little bit. Thank you. How you been doing lately? Good, busy. Yeah. Busy at works, good busy. That's good. And you are tight. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> I'm so excited. What's going on, boo? How are you? Are we going rowing? Are we going rowing? We're gonna go rowing. Are you ready? Yeah, I can't wait. Is he done? I'm jealous. Beautiful I'm day. gonna come tip your boat. Is he done? Are you ready? Yeah, We're he's done. Soon. Okay. <laughs> See you. In the can't row. wait. See you in the row. See you in the row. Man, she's got a lot of energy. <laughs> yeah, maybe too much. Yeah, maybe. Rob Gibson, Olympic medalist for rowing. Did you know? I've known this guy since senior kindergarten. It's not gonna be easy on me. Robbie, you're not gonna make me tip, are you? I, I can't guarantee anything, Claire. <laughs> I honestly am so scared of falling in the water. <laughs> because, like, do we have life jackets? No life jackets. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what do I do now? <laughs> We're gonna roll the boat down to the water. Down my arm? Yeah, so up, roll it. Oh, it's cracking. That's okay. Okay. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay. No, like, that's not okay. This is called your starboard oar, right here. Okay. And so you like, what if you. Tight. Yeah, like, what yeah, if you that's don't. It's a common it... mistake. They can pop out and then we're going in. So you always make sure that oar lock is tight. <laughs> I'm so nervous right you're now. You're fine, you're fine. I know, but like, this boat is really skinny. Yeah, they're tippy. <laughs> People don't realize how. How tippy they can be. And someone said there's snakes out here. Yeah, there's definitely snakes. <laughs> like, those shoes just stay in there all the time? Yeah. Do yeah. people clean them? Uh, nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've never cleaned any shoes, put it that way. Do I need socks on? Yeah. I don't, but you might want socks. Just slide Do it across. Do I slide the bum thing back? Yep, the seat? that's fine. And then put my foot here? Yep, slide it across. Oh my goodness! Slide it across first, slide your oar across. Okay. So the oars will balance the boat. Oh my. Make it much more stable. <clears throat> I'm shaking. I'm really nervous. I don't want to I don't want to flip. You got this. Okay, okay. So. Slide it across. Yeah. Like all the way out? All the way out. Yep. Okay. All, oh my oh, God. Further than that. All oh, the way. Oh, more. Yeah. Okay. Now what? Seriously? <laughs> How? What? <It's> crazy. <laughs> it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. My knees are. Okay, so. I feel like an 80 year old lady. Put your feet in. Oh, I can put do a, that. Yeah, put your feet up there. Oh, God. Can I put it? Yeah, there you go. Ah! Ah! Can you hold this? Yeah, you want them out though. Okay, I'm you're so in. Okay, okay so rowing feet. is not easy, and I, we haven't even started, right? No, people don't even, most people don't realize there are a few challenges with it. It's like so, oh my God, Robbie, yeah. if we tip though, my feet are stuck in. Yep, they are. So if we tip, which we're not gonna tip, but we might tip. I'm gonna panic and you're not just gonna, gonna have to just pull the straps out. No, I will good. I'll 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 have a panic attack. <laughs> nothing's nothing's gonna happen. If I if, okay. <clears throat> we're not gonna tip. Just don't ever let go of your okay. or, of your handles, okay? But like and that's like if kind we of the tip, golden rule. I'm strapped to the boat. Yeah. You'll slide your feet out, you'll be okay. Actually. Okay. You good? You yeah. just sit tight. I'm gonna get in. Oh God. It's okay. You're like, I trust you getting in. Pardon? Somebody help me. I'm excited. Oh, I'm, I'm this glad This has been a long time in the, in the works here, Claire. You and I going for a row. Oh my goodness. I know. I've been thinking about this for a long time, but this is, this is, um, this is. Are this you ready? Is, I mean, I'm as ready. You just sit as there ready for as a I can. Are you nervous? Uh. I mean, I've never rode with a beginner before, like a true novice. Just relax your shoulders. Keep your hands pressed against the oar locks. You got it.
you started in high school, right? Yeah. Like at what point were you like, man, this could be something? Uh, grade 12 you, in high school. You thought I could? Yeah, you know, I had an opportunity in the sports and um, ended up transferring high schools to row with um, some other kids in the city and Will Crothers being one of them. And then uh, we both kind of hit it off in the pair. We were good, uh, good match for each other. We went undefeated, won national championships, and we both um, made the junior national team. And then that led to a scholarship in the States. And it all happened within like a seven, eight month period. It happened so incredibly fast. Well, that's fast. what I'm like. And then all of a sudden I was out in Seattle going to arguably the best rowing school on the planet. And um, just one step led to the next. Just kind of snowballed out of control, really. But it was a wonderful ride. I failed more times than I succeeded. What do you mean failed? Like, how? Like, races didn't go my way, or I... What would be the worst thing that would happen? The worst thing that could happen? The worst thing that could happen did happen, and that was at the Rio Olympics in 2016, when I caught a crab, is what we call it. Uh, so the oar catches the water at full speed, and it's essentially if it's throwing an anchor out. It's something that you cannot recover from, and uh, it happened, so cool. that was a really... And, but it was a crazy, crazy windy day, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Yeah, it was the windiest I'd ever raced in, um, period, internationally by far. I mean, it, it arguably should have been canceled that day, but it was the first day of the Olympics, and they were reluctant to cancel it on the first day. They wanted to, the show had to go on, so to speak, so. But it's okay. I mean, other crews had to deal with it as well, so. What did you, because I remember seeing the interview after. Oh, yeah. Well, I didn't even see it. I saw it. I started crying. <laughs> yeah, I was pretty emotional. How long did it take to like recover from that? You worked four years yeah. to get to there. Yeah, I don't know if it's something I'll ever like fully recover from, to be honest. I mean, right. I, I always I think about it all the time. Like, what if this had happened, or what if that had happened, or... Um, it's just, but you can't it's just keep sport, doing though. That. It just kind of makes me appreciate more the the good times that I had that we had as as teammates and crews and all that like the, the experience in the London Olympics was well you wanted a medal when we won the medal yeah that it just it just kind of highlights that experience more it just makes me appreciate what we did earn as a team there that day so like what does a day look like like a typical day of training yeah in Victoria um <laughs> you, it's a lot Eyes up, accurate, thumbs up, catch it, catch the hips. Uh, I was up at like 6.15 every morning, which isn't that bad compared to the like high school days when yeah. we were up at 4.45, but so 6.15 and then meet at the lake for 7.30, we would do a couple K run as a team and then 20 minutes or so of stretching, then we'd have a kind of a briefing as a team and then we'd go out in the water for anywhere from 90 minutes to two two hours roughly and then back on land shower up big breakfast at the lake and then we go back out on the water again do another 10 kilometers so another hour and a bit and then off the lake eat again go home maybe grab a quick nap half an hour or so and then in the gym lift weights for hour hour and a half and then after that we go on the rowing machines on the rowing machines for another hour and a bit. <laughs> so, what? And that so was just like... Monday, yeah. That's a Monday and then we did that six days a week <laughs> or seven days a week actually under a different coach. So not every sport is like this, is it? It can't be I don't be. think so, no, no. Rowing is it's a power endurance sport, so power endurance, but then I feel like I'm it's like a ballet out here and trying then to balance. It's also a ballet, especially once you get into the crew boats. I mean you have to have in the eight man, you have to have eight guys doing exactly the same thing exactly the same time all on the same page and you have to know what to do if you're up in a race down in a race or tied in a race and there's a lot of training that goes into it a lot of practice and then there's a the whole psychology right like you can get into so, your head like i'm thinking like when i was rowing if i even start thinking claire don't screw this up i like did something <laughs> weird like you move the wrong way everyone's hurting the thing with rowing swimming. the psychology that comes into play is that like we're facing backwards essentially, right? Yeah. So there's a massive psychological advantage to getting up in a race so you can see your competition behind right. you. Right. And they can't see you. 
So right. it's, a, it's a sprint at the, from the first stroke. It's an all out sprint to right. get in front because it gives you a psychological boost. From there, it turns into another sprint and then another sprint. It just never really ends. Like you're never really not sprinting in a 2000 meter race. So by the end of the race, you're absolutely just knackered. I mean, you, you, you can't even really understand the level of pain. It's, it it kind of turns into a pain contest really. And in the crew boats, you just, I know <laughs> it sounds sorry, like a little- pain contest. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> that sounds a little. <laughs> okay, can I ask you a question? Of course. If you could go back to being 17 again and someone showed you this like future, this, your mirror into the future, would you do it all over again? Actually, would you go? Cause like- Yeah, yeah I would. It, it's taught me so much. It's it showed me the world and beyond that, I've just met absolutely incredible people along the way. Just determined, brilliant people, um, talented people. Um, that has been the highlight. I've got friends for life um, through the sports and in a lot of countries all over, the, all over the world. There's a lot of downtime too, like a lot of days where I just absolutely wanted to quit. I hated it. Do you ever cry? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure I've cried. Yeah, like there's been days where I just, there was about a three month period, I think in 2015, where I wanted to quit every single morning. Every single morning. I'm like, okay, hey, last row, never again. This is it, do one more practice, then you're done. You can do it. You've already accomplished more than you set out to, you can quit today. What pushed you through it though? Like, why did you stay? Like, that was that was a couple of years ago, so why yeah. why stay with it? Um, at, at that point, we were developing a, a, a quad boat, a four-man boat, and I really enjoyed the guys' company, and I didn't want to kind of let them down. I wanted to be there for them, and they were going through hard times too. I mean, everybody has their own unique path to get to the Olympics. It certainly doesn't happen overnight. And it's by no means is it easy for anyone. Ah, <laughs> you put your blades in the water. In some ways, I'm like, just I'm trying your, to balance. Just put your, put your blades in the water. Yeah, like which way? Like, Robbie. <laughs> put them on yeah. the water. Raise your hands up a little bit. Okay. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's okay. Where did that wave come from? Remember the neutral from? position? What? Um, that might have come from the ferry when it docked. This sure. doesn't get any easier. What about the days you say, some days you're rowing in the middle of Feb, or not, hopefully not February, in the middle of November, it's just before the- Oh no, we train year round in Victoria. I mean, it's really? Never, yeah, every day we're on the water. Yeah. What, what, how cold can it get out on the water? It can snow. I mean, in the winter, it will maybe, a third of the lake might freeze, but there's still water what? that's rollable and you go out there and just kind of get it done. Just, just deal with it. Oh God, Robbie. Just really just relax. Oh, Robbie. Okay. Just relax. Float up the slide. Ah. Oh. <laughs> we got caught. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Okay. Okay, I gotta start slow. <laughs> I don't want to tip. <laughs> no, no, no. How do you, like, it's hard to keep going. Yeah, yeah, it's not easy. I mean, but if it was easy, uh. everyone might do it, so. Robbie, do you think I could go to the Olympics? For rowing? <laughs> I don't know, you might have missed your shot. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh man! <laughs> okay. You gonna get out now? Yeah, thanks so much. You're very welcome. I'm probably gonna be in bed for the next seven days. <laughs> you did well. <laughs> How you do got, I get out? You take your feet out? Sorry. Yeah, but, oh, I'm just looking, I'm shaking. Yeah. Oh my God. That was okay. some good rowing out there. Okay, Robbie. Okay. Ah! okay, can I just roll out? <laughs> yeah, that works. <laughs> I've never seen that before. <laughs> we didn't flip, Claire. We didn't flip. Yeah, I'm so happy. It's a success. <laughs> All right, I gotta go for lunch. This I'm gonna die. Thank you. Oh, oh my God. You're gonna make it. No. My legs are actually dying. Come here. <laughs> okay, this is really a big workout. Yeah. Oh God. Okay, are we good? We're good. Actually, no, we're not good. Where are you going? We gotta put these boats away. Oh my God. I, I'm, I'm gonna die.